Hey friend, welcome back. My name is Jana, if you are new here. I'm currently pregnant with my fourth baby. And when I have this baby, I will have four kids, five and under. So I did the math the other day and I have been pregnant for three years, <laughs> three of the last five years, which is crazy. I am super passionate about being a mother and a wife, but I'm also really passionate about being me, like me at the same time. So here on my channel, I like to show um, my daily life and how I do that. So motherhood, lifestyle, DIY, fashion. If you are interested in that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe, be part of my tribe, and let's jump into today's video. If you hear them out there, they're with Brayden and it's dinner time. So it's a little bit loud. <laughs> So in this video, I just wanted to catch you guys up on how I'm doing, how my body is doing, how I'm doing mentally with this pregnancy. I will say it has been very hard and my stretch marks are a little bit out of this world. And then at the end, I do have some questions that um, you guys asked me on Instagram. So the biggest thing with this pregnancy so far is, well, nausea. If you saw me in my first trimester, I was a hot mess express, okay? I was like eating a cracker, throwing it up every day. I was just sitting on the couch. I could not move. I was so weak and dehydrated. I f actually felt like a prisoner in my own body. I know that sounds so dramatic. It was crazy. It was so hard. But now that that's been over for a couple weeks, my nausea has lasted until about 22 weeks this pregnancy, and I still have it every now and then. It hasn't gone away completely like it did with my other three kids. Um, so that's been really hard. Something else that's been really challenging for me in this pregnancy is back pain. I have struggled with my back almost my whole entire life, and so pregnancy just enhances it. I have been dealing with sciatic nerve pain like crazy. Um, I actually am trying out this really cool new chiropractor though. It's called Non-Force Chiropractic. And basically, your traditional chiropractor, when you go in to see them, they will just like crack you. And what she does is she, it is the craziest thing. I don't know if it's voodoo or <laughs> what it is, but she goes in and she just goes on my spine and she just like goes like this. And then she like checks my feet. Anyways, you can look it up, but it has helped me like no other. As a wife and a mom, I really believe that being pregnant is a sacrifice for the whole family. And you're not the only one that has to take on that sacrifice because you're the only one going through it physically. I feel like you can kind of divide up things throughout the family. So I've done a lot of communicating with Brayden through this pregnancy about things that I can and can't do. In my first trimester, I could not make dinner. I could not. I literally could barely make toast. So I talked to my husband and he helped out with a lot of the meals. Thankfully, he works remotely from home. With my other three pregnancies, that was not the case. So I have, believe me, I have gone through that. I know how hard it is when you can't have that kind of help. But since it was possible, I asked for help. <laughs> One thing that I really wanted to be better at this pregnancy, which I thought that I would be, but I'm not, is exercising. With all four of my pregnancies, I have always wanted to be better at exercising. And here's the deal. Before I get pregnant, I'm usually like exercising, working out, feeling strong, and I'm usually in a pretty good place. But then I get pregnant, I get super sick, I throw up for about four months. I pretty much starve almost to death, <laughs> which means I lose all of my muscle. And um, then by the time I'm over the sickness and able to work out, I just feel so depleted and like weak. And I have no motivation to exercise because it puts my back out. And um, I'm already so sore as it is. So, 
there's that's been my dilemma with exercising during my pregnancy i want to be better because to be honest i feel like i'm gaining weight a lot faster this time i don't own a scale i don't know how much weight i've gained but i've noticed like more cellulite on my legs and that's been hard like of course you're supposed to be like oh i don't care it's all worth it which it is but it's still hard because I know how hard I'm going to have to work to get it off after my pregnancy. I know how hard it's going to be. But it's Honestly fine. Don't. I should be the that last brings me to my next thing. Now that I'm getting close to my third trimester, or I pretty much am in my third trimester, I have been craving ice cream every night and Oreos. And I can't say no. It's kind of a problem. <laughs> I eat really healthy during the day usually, like salads, smoothies. Um, I try not to eat a lot of carbs, but then at night, me and Brayden usually watch a show and I'm like, okay, I need some ice cream. So that's probably where the cellulite's coming from. I push back this during this pregnancy, I've had a ton of anxiety. I've been super irritable and moody. <laughs> you guys, I have been so moody. I feel so bad for Brayden and my kids because I can be one, happy one moment and then the next, I don't know why I'm mad, but I'm just mad. And um, something that's helped so much is the doTERRA adaptive pills. I take one of these, usually one in the morning when I feel myself getting like a little bit like flustered inside i take one of them and then at night i take one or like in the afternoon and i kid you not like 15 minutes after i take it i'm feeling pretty chill and when i don't take it my anxiety definitely like picks up and it's really hard to process so that kind of keeps things under control another thing that helps which kills two birds with one stone is um the calm I think it's just called calm. I've been having Charlie horses at night. So anytime I go to like stretch my legs out at night, I feel a Charlie horse coming on. So I have to like hurry and like stretch my foot out. Um, but the calm magnesium helps with cramps, like leg cramps, Charlie horses, stuff like that. So I take that at night for my anxiety and my leg cramps and um, it just helps keep you regular, keeps things moving, if you know what I mean. I have also started to feel really puffy super early on this time. I look in the mirror in the morning sometimes and my nose is puffy. My lips get so big when I'm pregnant and I have like this freckle right here and it just like puffs up on my lips. So that's really cute. I also have skin tags that are growing like right here and like right here. Um, so that's fabulous. <laughs> I'm gonna answer the Instagram questions and then I wanna show you guys my body and my stretch marks and how things are stretching this time because I thought that once they could be stretched so much they couldn't be stretched more than that but that's not, that's not really true because my body is like stretching whole new it's paving new paths let's just say that are you feeling excited or overwhelmed or both both definitely both i feel i feel so excited to meet her if you've heard my story of how we found out we were pregnant with her i have felt her around since two weeks after i had ezra i just knew that we were gonna have a baby soon and i was like whoa heck no <laughs> Her and God had other plans though. So I'm excited to meet her. I feel like she's gonna be a very persistent little girl and she's just gonna be so fun. I'm so excited. But also I'm like, okay, three months, you can you can take your time because I um, need my time to get ready. Um, my due date, because this was a surprise pregnancy, I don't really know exactly when we conceived. And my periods were a little bit off during that time because I was nursing. And so I'm not really sure when my due date is. So it's like either October 23rd or October 28th. Do you have a name for her? I'm 95% sure we do have a name. 
I'm not sure if I'm in love with it, but Brayden's like, yes, this is what we're naming her. Will the, what will the age gaps be between the kiddos? So the oldest two are 20 months apart, and then I had a two and a half year gap, and then these babies will be 18 months apart. So yeah, that's gonna be fun. How do you survive being pregnant with other kids? I kind of touched on this earlier, but asking for help with the other kids, it is hard, but I remind myself that giving them a sibling is probably one of the best gifts I could give them, whether they know it or not now. Uh, so it's okay if things look a little bit different than they normally do because it's a sacrifice and sacrifice brings reward. I really believe that. Do you think you will want more kids? I know that we have one more after this. I just know it. So as overwhelming as that kind of sounds, it's also exciting because I, I truly love having kids. We will probably have one more, one or two more, probably just one more. We'll see. Okay, those were most of the questions that I got off Instagram. Let me know down below if you guys have any more questions and I will answer them. Let me show you my stomach. I was going to can my stomach, but I did not because I want you to see it in its full glory. Right here I have an umbilica hernia. Um, my, pretty much my abs are very, very separated and so I have a gap in between them and so my guts kind of hang out right there. When I got pregnant, I didn't have time to close my gap like I was working on. So I had like a four finger gap when I got pregnant. If you can see, tell, I have so many stretch marks. Do you guys see that? And like these veins, my skin is so thin. I have these veins that go across right here and down here. And with each baby, I've gotten a new pattern of stretch marks. <laughs> so yeah. It's pretty crazy. It's a little bit hard to accept it sometimes, but it is a blessing and um, I'll just try to look at it from that perspective. That is the update for the end of my second trimester, beginning of third. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you back here on my channel for a new video next week.